Statement number one, it's expensive to live close to your work. Wrong. Statement number two, I cannot afford to pay 550 pounds per month for a room. Wrong again. You can, but you don't know that yet. Statement number three, in London majority lives the same way like me. Yes, correct, but you have opportunity to change your life and stand out. In this video, I will give you three serious reasons why it is more better to live closer to your work or university in London and how that will change your life, financial situation and health. Also, I will turn around all three statements and give you proper explanations. Coming up. Welcome to 21st Estate, number one online guide for renting and letting real estate in London. This channel is made specially for those people who are looking to rent apartment or house in London, find how the market works to be one step ahead, or simply for those who want to get some extra tips and secrets from industry. For those who are first time here, my name is Oscar and I will be your personal guide and advisor. For those who have been here before, hi and welcome back to another episode. In today's episode, I will give you three reasons why it's better to live closer to your work or university or even your hobby, counting that you are active in it no less than four days a week. Basically, closer to any place that is a serious part of your weekly schedule in London. Okay, let's start with short intro. London is the largest city in Europe with population a little over 14 million in city's metropolitan area. Also, area-wise, it's very huge, around 8,400 square kilometers, and that makes commuting through the city very challenging at the times. The main traveling styles, like in any other cities are own cars, taxis, public transports like tube, train and bus, bicycles and simply walk. Well, every single traveling type have different expenses, different comfort level and also different time duration. And seriously, you need to pay attention how you commute. Me personally, for last six years, I'm using only bike and walking and on rare occasions, maybe once a month public transport. With my real estate experience, I have found a way how it works for me so everything is in balance. Okay, let me give you three reasons why you might considering your traveling slash real estate lifestyle. To make it more visual, I will use typical average London example. Let's imagine James lives in the third zone and works in the center of London. He cannot walk to work and also cycling seems too far and only option is public transport, taxi or owned car. So let's see. Reason number one, finances and commuting. London is very expensive city when it comes to transport and it really doesn't matter. You use your own or public transport. The average costs of monthly travel cards around 50 to 150 or at the times could go even higher. Bus is the more cheaper travel option than tube, but also more slower due to very vibrant traffic. Tube is the fastest by far if you need to travel long distances, but also most expensive. Single ticket could go up to £4.50 a ride. Another option could be to buy your own car, and cars in UK are quite cheap comparing with the rest of the world. But then remember insurance, road tax, parking permits, gas, and it is not including maintenance, and these all costs are one of the highest in the whole world. I would say that for average Londoner, car is a luxury product if you only use it for your own traveling. If you use it for business purposes, then it's a bit different, of course. So the bottom line and advice is, if you have chosen or you are considering to live further away, mainly because of low rent, then please add your transport cost to the rent and see what is the total number and also check closer areas to your workplace and probably you will find something within the range of your total budget. Current rent plus traveling costs, where you can travel by bike or even walk. By the way, if you need some assistance with finding correct and real price for location, please check out one of my other videos where I show to do it in a proper way. Link in description. All right, let's move to the second reason. Reason number two, time management. Living far will affect significantly your time management. You will always need to plan your time ahead, calculating traveling time, preparation process at your home, traffic, 
weather or even walking distance from your final stop to arrival point and remember further you live from work longer will be the time so if we are speaking technically you will lose from two to four hours every single day think how much and what you can do in those hours rest sleep meet your friends do sport activities work on your personal development do your hobbies spend time with your kids or parents or so many things so many things so the bottom line and advice is don't chase cheaper rent further away and sacrifice your personal time if you can live closer and use those few extra hours a day on valuable things. Okay, let's go further. Reason number three, physical and mental health. So since you have chosen to live further away, you will need to choose between cutting your sleep or cutting your personal time when you are awake. If you will decide to cut your sleep, after a while you will start to feel more tired during the day and also the quality of your life, both private and professional, will start to drop. You will be sleepy at the times when you shouldn't or if you will sleep accordingly and will decide to cut your own personal time, then sooner or later you will start to feel that you are missing something, not doing things till then or doing slower than you actually projected or not doing at all. And that will lead to the mental issues like depression and anxiety. You will start to think that you are failing at some point in something. Also, you will feel a bit lonely and that could lead to burnout syndrome. And these things might happen if you lose those two, four hours a day for extended period of time. So the bottom line and advice is to have a great mental and physical health. Your life and day cycle need to be in balance. Well, as much as we all love London, London is definitely the city where you can lose your daily balance pretty quick. So if you start to feel tired or a bit depressed about things around you for a longer period of time, then that might be related with how far you need to travel every day. Take it serious. So hopefully now you agree with me that live closer to your work or university is more important because you save on being exhausted. Gain extra two to four hours a day and also save money on transport. Not even talking about benefits from healthy walk or cycling. Remember these three reasons when you are looking for your first or next place and always be careful in your search. Also, don't forget to subscribe and if you have any questions, please write them down below in comment section or get in touch with me in your preferred social platform. Good luck and see you on my next episode. Peace.